um, I don't know about you, but I am thoroughly impressed. Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So happy to have you here. I have just pulled up the JCPenney. It's been a few months, I think. I think it's been since May because I was here last right when I got my first sinus infection, right before I got COVID. That was a whole mess of things. Let's hope that this is a much better experience. I was so tired and over it that day, but I'm in a really good mood today. So I'm excited to go check out what they've got. I'm hoping they have a bunch of sales going because a lot of places have been having tons of sales. And I love when JCPenney has sales because I really do enjoy their clothing. I can always really find stuff that I really like could be a staple in my wardrobe, some basics or something a little bit fun. I don't know. They've just, they've got some gems. A lot of people just think old lady clothes, which I get, I get. They definitely do have more mature clothing, but they've also got some fun stuff. And I like to, I am all over the place and I, I totally feel like everything is how you style it and you can wear whatever the heck you want. And there's stuff that like the way you style it can completely change the vibe of it. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go to JCPenney. Not looking for anything in particular, uh, but if I find anything, I will, you know, grab it. I might see, if, I don't know if their Sephora is still open. It looks like they're closing their Sephora. I'm pretty sure all the JCPenney's are closing their Sephora. Is Sephora moving to Kohl's? Is that what it was? I can't remember. If you guys know, let me know. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go try stuff on. Nothing in particular that I'm looking for. Um, I always want dresses because when I find dresses at JCPenney, they're so cute. But there's, oh, there's like maybe one at a time in the plus size section uh but we'll just go see just just vibes just going with vibes um so yeah if you have any questions about my sizing my measurements my height anything like that it's all down below in the description box for you um as well as links to anything i can possibly find on the website that i found in store uh, but yeah let's go to jc petty all right loves let's go to jc penny so i was very interested to see they had like a forever 21 section inside JCPenney. I'm sure it's just junior sizes, so I didn't even bother looking. I went straight for the plus size section. I saw a dress I tried on last time, a little jumpsuit, and a new orange dress. So I was like, wow, another dress. We got to try it on. They had a ton of active wear and just like basic t-shirts and jeans in this section. They, it wasn't it was a little discouraging at first. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little discouraging at first, but I just kept looking. I did try on this top last time. I tried it on in black as well, and I really liked it. I think there's a black one right here. Yep, those were super cute and comfy. Oh, I forgot about this top. I meant to go back and grab that, but I totally spaced it, but that's okay. We tried on lots of fun stuff. I saw they had so many jeans and a lot of their jeans were on sale for $21.99 as some sort of doorbuster thing. So if you're looking for jeans, I try on a really good pair in this haul, this try on, whatever, this haul try on, it's not a haul, but you know, I'm just so used to saying haul, but you get it, you get it. I thought these were cute with the little tie on the front. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it because the tie would probably hit right on my belly and I didn't know, so we didn't try that on. I couldn't remember if I tried on this top last time or not, so we didn't try it on. <laughs> they had some really cute sweaters. Oh my goodness, they had it in like a burnt orange and a black, and I want them both. I want them both. I grabbed the burnt orange one to try on. I saw some really cute basic basic tees with just some ruffly sleeves. Man, now I'm looking at this footage and I should have grabbed things as I was shopping because now I'm like, dang it, I forgot to try that on. I forgot to try that on. I really was going to try on those kind of berry colored pants as well, but guess who didn't try them on? I thought these were some pretty linen pants. They had tons and tons of basic tees for a really good price. So if you're looking for any basic t-shirts, they definitely got some. I decided to venture outside of the plus section because I am kind of, I'm, I'm plus size. Don't get me wrong. I am plus size, but a lot of times an XXL in straight sizes and women's will work for me. Um, not always, but sometimes. So I decided to go search around. I saw they had some St. John's Bay stuff in an XXL and there was some cute stuff. They had a whole bunch more clearance over on the other side. So they did have a ton of clearance. I didn't go to see if they have their normal huge clearance section, but I'm betting they did. I found plenty of things to try on. So I didn't bother going to hunt through there because I just feel like trying on things that are actually in stock with multiple items usually makes it a little bit easier for you guys to shop the items if you want to. I ended up stumbling into this brand which 
I'm bummed that the plus sizes aren't in store, but I am happy to know that they do exist because I thought a lot of the things from this brand was, were really cute. This dress, obsessed. It also came in white. I found it in XXL. I decided to try it on. You guys, I'm wearing the same outfit I've been wearing a lot lately. You know, it is what it is. But I tied up my little leopard shirt today, feeling very 90s vibes. <laughs> so first I put on this dress, and you guys, it was I knew it was going to be a close fit. And I didn't realize till I was in the fitting room that price tag, <laughs> price tag, she's pricey. So I put it on without zipping it all the way at first. I honestly didn't end up putting it on fully zipped, but this, it's completely unzipped in this little clip. And in the next clip, I'll tell you when I, I ended up taking it back off and I zipped it up <laughs> almost all the way because I thought I'd be able to zip it the rest of the way once it was on right here. You can see it's a little tight around my waist. It's just that last little bit. So it does fit. It does fit. I was just sweaty and worried that I was going to get stuck in it because I am definitely on the cusp and I definitely think it's probably about a size too small, uh, but I could definitely wear it functionally if I wanted to and I just could not reach the zipper and I was not going to take it off and put it back on a third time. <laughs> it was so warm in there, but look how cute this dress is. I am obsessed and again, it came in white. If it's ever on sale, like a good sale, I'm going to need her in my life. I'm going to need her in my life. She's absolutely adorable. I was obsessed. So I decided to try on this jumpsuit next. I was like, let's go for something bright. I didn't even realize at the time that this was on clearance. I am a tall bean. I am 5'9", so she's a little short on me. But I've seen a lot of people rocking their jumpsuits, even though like with their ankles out. Are you into the slightly shorter jumpsuits? Let me know. I ended up trying on the 3X because when it comes to any sort of romper or jumpsuit I always go up a size just because my belly and I feel like it fit my belly good but it was a little bit loose in my bust which is not surprising at all I brought my own little fan because <laughs> I just you know I figured it might help it didn't help too much in this fitting room today I remember I used it at Nordstrom Rack and it helped a lot so I guess I just couldn't find the right angle but anyway <laughs> next I tried on this dress how cute is this? It's a one shoulder. I like never do one shoulders, but I thought I would give it a go. I thought I would give it a try and sorry for the bra strap and the tank top strap. I know you guys get it. You get the vibe. You get the vibe. I thought this was a really pretty color. It's kind of like a marigold color. I really liked the elastic-y smock kind of waist on this. I feel like it felt, felt, <laughs> it fit really nice and it did feel really nice. I, I really liked the material the dress was made out of. It was interesting, but a lot of fun. So this was definitely, definitely a win. If you like it, I would say definitely check it out. This next outfit may be my favorite besides that little black dress that I tried on. I was so excited when I saw this top there. I love a good little peasant -y type top and I found some boyfriend jeans, some mid-rise boyfriend jeans, and I decided I needed to try those on. Their jeans were on sale, so as I said earlier, they were kind of a mess, so I had to dig. I had to dig, and I could only find these or some wide leg crop ones, and the wide leg crop were just not, not my vibe. And I didn't feel like trying on skinny jeans because I've tried on a thousand million pairs of skinny jeans, and I'm so picky about them. I just wanted to try on some straight leg jeans and I actually really, really liked them. I really liked this outfit. This little top is so cute. I'm pretty sure the top was only $21.99. Um, I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh, I was trying to kick that little <laughs> tag that was on the floor out of the way, but that's okay. So I just loved both of these. I love the tie at the top. I love that she was a little bit loose. I decided to tuck it in because she was a little bit longer than the jeans. And I really, really liked these jeans. Even though they were mid-rise, they still hit me at a really, really good point. Everything about them just... They're so good. They're so good. And I can't believe they were on sale for $22. $21.99. Yeah, both of those absolute win. I decided to try on this little top too. I wasn't sure if it was going to fit and it is a little bit small, but that way I could kind of gauge if the XXL, how it fits, how I would need a true plus size in that top if I wanted it. Um, but again, I didn't look at the prices and that brand is pricey. Uh, but of course, JCPenney has tons of coupons. They have tons of sales and I really love the sleeves on this. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. If you are a true like XXL or below, I would definitely say go try it on and go check out that brand because there was such cute stuff. I would just, of course, I mean, if you've got the money, go for it. I'm just a girl on a budget. So I'm always looking for the best deal. 
I grabbed a plain white tee because I wanted a plain white tee to try on with the cardigan that you'll see in just a moment, but I wanted you guys to be able to see the t-shirt because I really did like it. It was nice and soft, nice and comfy, and it was a decent price as well. I grabbed that burnt orange cardigan to try on. I just had to. I had to, and honestly, for this nice of a cardigan, and especially considering that JCPenney has a bunch of sales all the time, $54 isn't bad. It probably feels less bad because the dress I just put on was like $120. So, you know, but it's a vibe. It has pockets. I love their cardigan so much. The length is always good. It's always a nice little bit of oversize. My true size at JCPenney is usually a 2X and it still fits a little bit loose and comfy, which I love. And again, these jeans, ugh, they're so good. They're so good. So this outfit was just a very basic, a basic vibe, but it made me really happy even though I was sweating. I was like, I need fall days. Fall days, are you coming, please? I need you. Um, but yeah, all of these things, total win. I had grabbed this sweater. I wasn't sure how it was going to go. It's by St. John's Bay, and it only went up to an XXL. But I actually ended up really liking the fit. It is a little bit more of a closer fit than I normally go for in a sweater. But I didn't feel like it was, you know, hugging every single lump and bump. I feel like these jeans also were just so good that I didn't feel like I had a huge muffin top or anything. That's my thing with sweaters. I feel like they just kind of cling to you, and I can be you know, having my best day. And sometimes still, I just don't like things being all like up in my business. If I'm in the right mood, I'm fine with it. <laughs> but you know, I always like a little bit of extra room in a sweater. But at the same time, the thickness of this sweater was good. And I really liked that kind of pumpkin -y color mixed with the pink and the maroon. Lots of fun. Definitely liked it. I grabbed this little yellow mustard tee to try on. They also had it in white because I liked the little tie at the bottom. And I thought that the eyelets on the sleeves was really was really cute they were really cute um I kind of wish I would have tried on the white one too because I think that the white one I would get even more use out of but I was trying to give you guys a little bit more variety of color and I feel like mustard is such a good color for fall just such a fun little basic tee that I could wear any day doing anything I feel like JCPenney has a ton of great stuff for just like every day but I was glad to see more things once I ventured out and I, I didn't even know that brand existed so it was a surprise uh, this top also came in a burnt orange, which you probably saw when I was shopping around and I'm obsessed. I want them both. I want them all. Um, I decided to try on this little denim skirt because you don't really see skirts too often at JCPenney. At least I don't. And any of the ones I ever see, I swear they like don't have the right size, but they have the right size in this one. And I thought it was interesting because it is longer than any other denim skirt I've ever tried on. I wasn't sure I was going to feel about it, but I actually ended up really liking it. I thought it was a vibe. And this little top is too stinking cute. And I want the black one. And I want the burnt orange one. And I want them all. It's just so perfect with the little puff sleeves. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It would be so cute with just some jeans or whatever. Honestly, any skirt it could go with. It's just such a good little basic top. And I like that it has kind of the I guess the style of it not pinstripe but you guys can see the texture of the tee very cute all right love so I just left JCPenney uh I did just brush my hair because girl she was looking crazy looking crazy my extensions are like on their last leg so hello wow um I don't know about you but I am thoroughly impressed. I'm impressed. I love when I go somewhere and I have like zero expectations. And then I'm actually really excited. Like there were a couple outfits that I'm obsessed with. For example, that black dress. I would love it. Love it, love it, love it. Of course, I think I need a size up. But what's nice is you can order sizes, the larger sizes online of that same brand. Which is exciting because a lot of the stuff in that brand was really, really cute. Um, but that little black dress and it comes in white as well I think one size up would be probably perfect for me because I feel like the 2x the xxl would work but I feel like a plus size 2x would be much better um I don't know I just I don't want to be uncomfy I do like that there was some elastic in the back and honestly I'm pretty surprised that the xxl even fit me it's good to know that that brand exists I never wander anywhere outside of the plus size section usually at JCPenney so I'm glad that I started to wander a little bit to find some cute other stuff just like that St. John's Bay sweater which that brand also does plus sizes so I'm sure I will do my best to link the plus size down below if I can find it in that little sweater because I thought it was so cute I really really liked it um those jeans were amazing all of the jeans at JCPenney right now it said that they were 
I do not need a pair of jeans, but I was so tempted. I literally just got a huge bag of jeans from Fashion Nova. Um, so I don't need jeans. <laughs> I don't need them, but those were amazing. I felt cute in them. They were a mid-rise, which is normally not my thing at all, but just like where they hit me, how they fit my body. The waistband was really good. Just everything all around those were amazing. I really a thousand percent recommend those jeans. Definitely try them, especially if you can get them for $21.99. Hopefully they're on sale online as well. I have no idea, but of course I will link them down below if I can find them. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I loved that little pumpkin orange top you guys that pumpkin orange top also i really it took everything in me not to try that little black top the very last one i tried on with the denim skirt which that was cute i thought it was gonna feel like teacher vibes but no offense to teachers at all but you know you know oh it took everything in me not to try that little black sweater top on in the burnt orange i just when it comes to fall it's 94 degrees today it might be even hotter now i don't know but i was sweating so bad in that fitting room disgusting disgusting what is it right now 94 degrees that was a good guess shannon 94 degrees <laughs> spot on um wow i but anyway when it comes to fall i just want to wear pumpkin orange burnt orange all year round that cardigan you guys and it also came in black i want them both i'm going to keep an eye out for that to go on sale because i just feel like jc penny has such great long line cardigans every year it's one of my favorite places to get a cardigan every year i feel like they have just the cutest ones and they're always just so nice and oversized and comfy and perfect so yeah that was actually a lot of fun heck yeah jc penny I know a lot of people will be like, I don't even think to go to JCPenney. I feel like JCPenney is one of those places that can be a slight hunt sometimes, but sometimes they're popping. You never know. Of course, it is all mixed in, but they truly have really cute and what I feel are pretty trendy tops mixed in with their stuff. I think that their target audience is probably a little bit more mature most of the time, but you know what? Not always. And not that mature people can't wear the same clothes that I was trying on, obviously. Um, but yeah, definitely impressed. So excited to see what else they come out with for fall. They always have such cute fall stuff. And they definitely haven't shied away from like the cottagecore vibes. There's a lot of eyelet, a lot of ruffle, a lot of that kind of vibe. So if that's totally your thing and you're still on it, I'm still a little bit on it. I think I'll always, I'll always, when Cottage Core came about, I was like, I didn't know that this style had a name, but I am so about it. So about it. So anyway, I definitely encourage you to either pop on the JCPenney site or go down to JCPenney and kind of poke around. Um, this video is not sponsored in any way, but I just feel like they have such cute stuff and they did have a ton of clearance stuff. I found only one top that I kind of liked in the clearance, but it wasn't even the right size. And I was going to try it on for you guys, but there was someone knocking on the doors. Um, I've never been to JCPenney when the fitting room was full. When I went in that fitting room, there was one other person in the fitting room. And then by the time I was like almost done, it was packed. And I was like, uh, so I just, I just finished my try on really quick and got out of there because it was busy and too many people for me, you know, <laughs> too many people. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it if you could. If you got this point and you were ready for fall, leave a little leaf down below in the comments so I know because I am ready. And let me know if you guys are ready for full fall try-ons. I mean, that's what's popping up in stores now. We're at the end of August. It's basically September, which is basically October. I need to get that spooky lookbook ready. I need to, I need to get it ready. I've, I've already got a few things, but girl we gotta get it together get it together anyway i am going to film some more stuff but that's it for this video i love you guys so much give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it sure if you could it does help me out so so much and please subscribe if you haven't already i upload videos every monday wednesday friday we do lots of plus size fashion some beauty some vlogs stuff like that so if you're into it you're in the right place subscribe let's be friends all right guys i will talk to you soon bye i just saw the cutest little goth girl Wow, I wish that at that age I would have, you know, been cool. Been cool? Well, yeah, been cool. But, like, been cool with dressing exactly how I wanted instead of just trying to make myself the smallest, most invisible person I could because I just felt like I always just stood out because of my size. <sighs> you go, girl. I love seeing younger Younger kids just being exactly who they are. I love seeing anyone being exactly who they are. It just makes me so happy. Um, anyway, excuse me, I'm burping. That black dress, given I would definitely... Let me get control of my spit. I get too excited. Um, it, it's just sometimes you just... I don't know. 
anyway. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh my gosh, I lost my brain completely there. 